ஹலோ மேத்தமெட்டிஷியன்ஸ் டுடே வி சி ஒன்று சிம்பிள் ப்ராப்ளம் இட் இஸ் சார்ட் ஆஃப் நம்ம தேரி ப்ராப்ளம் பட் யூ கேன் சி மெனி சச் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இன் சிஎஸ்ஐஆர் எக்ஸாம் லைக் ஃபைன் த யூனிட் டிஜிட் ஆர் ஃபைன் த லாஸ்ட் டூ டிஜிட் தட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் அண்ட் தெர் ஆர் சம் கான்குரன்சஸ் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் ஆல்சோ ஆஸ்கடு இன் த சிஎஸ்ஐஆர் எக்ஸாம் ஸோ ஆல் தீஸ் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் கேன் பி சால்வ்ட் யூசிங் த டெக்னிக்ஸ் வி கோயிங் டு சி ஓகே லெட் சி த ப்ராப்ளம் ஓகே find the what is the unit digit of 2 power 100 that is a question we have to see whether it is 2 4 6 8 okay so in this problem there are two kind of approaches like uh, let me first uh, i mean uh, see for cs exam there are two different approaches many people what they do is they just uh, want to uh, understand some tricks and uh, uh, they want to clear the exam but uh, if you do understand what is the true mathematics behind it it is uh, very easy to clear exam because you can solve clear you can solve similar problem also uh, let's see the difference here using this problem first i'll sh- sh- tell you the trick to solve this problem then i will tell the conceptual solution you can see the difference how much we are learning mathematics when you approach the problem conceptually okay now so we want to find what the unit digit of 2 power 100 what what is the unit digit of 2 power 1 2 unit digit of 2 square 4 unit digit of 2 cube is 8 unit digit of 2 power 4 is 16 unit digit is 6 right so unit digit means the last digit so 2 power 5 is 32 so unit digit is 2 2 power 6 is uh, 64 unit digit is 4 2 power 7 is 128 unit digit is 8 then 256 2 power 8 is 256 unit digit is 6 okay if you look at it so it goes like this 2 4 8 6 2 4 8 6 so it going to this pattern going to keep continue so now this is uh, when it's a multiple of 4 uh, you going to get 6 okay then so this is a number of the form 4 and plus 1 yeah multiple of 4 plus 1 this is a multiple of 4 plus 2 this is a multiple of 4 plus 3 okay then this is a multiple of 4 okay so if now 2 power 100 going to be have the unit digit 6 okay so basically this is enough to solve this problem okay but uh, there are there is many beautiful mathematics behind this problem let's see what is it okay so basically this question is about uh, congruences in a number theory so so what is the unit digit of 101 it is 1 okay so basically unit digit means you have to find the congruence modulo 10 okay that is a that is what is so if you find the congruence modulo 10 that will give you the unit digit okay so in general like if you if you are given a big number how do you find the unit digit you divide that number by 10 okay for example 101 if you divide what will you get you will get the remainder 1 so that remainder is what congruence represents so if you write uh, a congruent to b mod n that means that if you divide a by the number n this is the remainder you will get okay so if you divide 101 by the number 10 this is the remainder you will get okay so this remainder is precisely the unit digit always so basically we want to calculate 2 power 100 congruent to which num which number mod 10 okay so if you call if you can calculate this number x then we solve this problem okay so this is a big number 2 power 100 and we want to solve this uh, congruence let's start with simple uh, congruence which we know so 2 power 5 is 32 and it's uh, this uh, it's a uh, unit digit is 2 right so if 32 if you divide by 10 you will get the remainder 2 so 2 power 5 congruent to 2 more 10 is clear to us now uh, this uh, congruence has an very interesting property if a congruent to if a congruent to b mod n then a power n sorry a power k congruent to b power k mod n so basically 
you can raise uh, some power here as well as here still the congruence holds true why is it true for example suppose a congruent b mod n okay so a congruent b mod n congruent b mod n means that n divides a minus b okay that is the meaning of a congruent to b mod n because so we just saw that uh, 101 congruent we just saw that 101 congruent to 1 mod 10 that means that 10 divides 101 minus 1 okay yeah that is true because 101 minus 1 is 100 right so a congruent to b mod n means n divides a minus b now there is a formula for a n minus a power n minus b power n a power n minus b power n equal to a minus b into some more terms okay so a power n minus b power n equal to a minus b into something now if a congruent to b mod n we want to prove that a power uh, uh, maybe this is a little bit of bad notation i should have used a power k a power k minus b power k uh yeah so this should be k this should be k here also let's put k a power k b power k so this is k minus one this is k minus two okay this is uh, k minus one yeah so what we are claiming is if a congruent b mod n then uh, uh, a power k congruent to b power k mod n okay now a power k minus b power k equal to a minus b times a power k minus 1 plus b times a power k minus 2 and so on so it, this is some number okay so a power k minus b power k equal to a minus b into some number since a congruent to b mod n n divides a minus b if n divides a minus b n divides any multiple of a minus b also if 2 divides 6 2 divides 36 also right so we get n if n divides a minus b then n divides a power k minus b power k okay so n divides a power k minus b power k means that a power k congruent to b power k mod n okay so this is a argument why we can raise the powers okay so now here also i am raising power 20 here also i am raising power 20 so why i am raising power 20 here that will give me 2 power 100 okay so 2 power 100 congruent to 2 power 20 mod 5 so now we want to calculate 2 power 20 mod 10 so 2 power 20 will be 2 power 5 whole power 4 uh, why we are writing 2 power 20 as a 2 power 5 to the power because already we know the answer to the 2 power 5 congruent to what number okay so 2 power 5 whole power 4 congruent to uh, 4 congruent to 2 power 4 mod 10 but uh, uh, okay now 2 power 4 is 16 okay 16 congruent to 6 mod 10 okay because of in the 16 the unit digit is 6 so what we have done is 2 power 100 congruent to 2 power 20 mod 10 now then 2 power 20 congruent to 2 power 4 mod 10 now 2 power 4 congruent to 6 mod 10 okay so there is a result in the congruence this congruence relation is a transitive relation okay if a congruence to b mod n and b congruence to c mod n okay see this b comes here then a congruence to c mod n okay uh, why is it true because uh, if a congruent to b mod n means n divides a minus b okay n divides a minus b means a minus b can be written as some k times n now b congruent to c mod n means that n divides b minus c that means that b minus c can be written as some p times n okay now a minus b plus b minus c equal to so i, I want to sum these two numbers so i will sum these two numbers i get k plus p times n so i get a minus c so this b b cancel equal a minus c equal to a plus b sorry k plus b times n so this means that n divides a minus c okay n divides a minus c means that a congruent to c mod n okay therefore we get if a congruent to b mod n and b congruent to c mod n then by transitivity a congruent to c mod n okay by this result uh, so 2 power 
5 2 power 100 concurrent to 2 power 20 modian. Okay. Now 2 power 20 concurrent to 2 power 4 modian. So now if you group it using uh, transitivity, you get 2 power 100 concurrent to 2 power 4 modian. 2 power 4 mod 10. So okay, I have written it below. I'll show you. Yeah. So 2 power 100 concurrent to 2 power uh, 20 mod 10 visa. Then also visa 2 power 10 concurrent to 2 power 4 mod 10. So together again then 2 power 4 is 16 concurrent to 6 mod 10. So by applying the transitivity we get uh, uh, this 2 power 100 concurrent to 2 power 4 mod 10. That is a one step. 2 power 100 concurrent to 2 power 4 mod 10. 10 again 2 power 4 congruent to 6 mod 10 okay so this is the next step so by applying a transitivity here we get uh, this equation now this equation and in this equation we can apply transitivity okay so 2 power 100 congruent to 6 mod 10 therefore uh, 6 is the answer okay so in this in this way you see we have learned many things in the uh, congruence many properties in congruence so similarly if they ask you for last two digit you have to find the congruence modulo 100 last three digit then you have to find modulo, modulo 1000 so this properties of rising to the powers and this transitivity is what very much you need to know to solve any congruence kind of problems okay so i give you two exercises what is the unit digit of 43 power 43 power 43? Okay, try to do it using congruences. Similarly, solve this congruence. Okay, 3 power 3 power 3. It is given 2021 times. You are rising 3 power 3 power 3 power 3 power 3 power 2021 times. And this number congruent to x mod 46. What is x? Okay, uh, so you might remember this uh, congruence. Uh, Euler's theorem on congruence. So, if uh, a comma n, a comma n is relatively prime, then uh, a power phi of n congruent to one mod n. So, that is Euler's theorem. There is some little Fermat theorem on congruences. You have to use all those results. But uh, congruences is uh, like a very nice tool to use. You can solve many problems using congruences. Okay. I hope you enjoy this video. So, if you like it. Please uh, like the video and uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'll meet you guys in different video. Thank you.